I'm John Buscemi. We're at JP Graziano's with Truff. We're here with the super talented Joey Perp. And this is The Dish. So Joey, you're a Chicago native. Yes, sir. We're at JP Graziano. It's been here for 85 years. It's the only sandwich shop I come to when I'm in town. How come you come here? Man, I guess just a community thing, a location thing. It's right in my area. I'm always around here, you know what I mean? It's like an extended family thing. Their relationship with Joe, he's like a brother to me, you know what I mean? So I hear that you're a vegan. You're kind of behind enemy lines in, the, in, this, <laughs> in this location. In this city. <laughs> in this city, yeah. yeah. Chicago is uh, definitely known for the, the pork. Yeah, for um, sure. All of that, the pork, the beef. What's your go-to sandwich here? That artichoke. Anything with, with, with veggies though, you know what I mean? I'm liable to just get straight veggies on the sandwich, you know what I'm saying? I think it's not as well known as it should be, but Truff's a vegan product. See, and it was designed to be that way. I, I, I didn't know that. <laughs> we had an opportunity yesterday to go to all these crazy pizza spots in town. I know in California and in LA where I live, is like it's, it's pretty much getting taken over by the vegans, which is a good thing. What's the pizza of choice in Chicago for you? And name the top three places you'd go to if you know you had to eat pizza for the last three meals. What would you do? Okay, so on the vegan side, it's this place up north called House of Zah. They closed down and relocating, but it's probably the best vegan pizza. Second to that, I say Kitchen 17. It's like a super fire vegan, like a vegan pizza place. But outside of vegan pizza, the slept on champion of Chicago pizza is called Pacino's, in my opinion. Pacino, like Al Pacino? Pacino, like, like Pacino with a B. There's Pacino. one downtown called Bella Pacino's, it's like a little nicer, and there's one up north that's like a traditional restaurant with pizza. And in my humble opinion, they're killing everybody on the Chicago style pizza and like uh, thin crust. But outside of that, I would say um, Italian Fiesta is really big. It's not like the traditional Chicago style, but it's like good pizza. And then um, after that, I don't know, man. But Chino's and Italian Fiesta are probably up there for me. Is the, I know the crust for vegan pizzas that are that's popular in Los Angeles is cauliflower. I could see a deep dish pizza being in a cauliflower cauliflower crust. Have you ever tried that? Yeah, I haven't tried the deep dish in the cauliflower. Fr I've, I've had Chicago style like stuffed pizza in vegan form. It just don't hit the same. You know, right. you need all that cheese and sauce and, and, yeah. and, and diabetes and shit. You need yeah. that. Two questions. On the hip hop side, what was the early inspiration for you from yeah. an artist perspective? And beyond that, what other music genres as like a five year old Joey uh, that got you psyched on music? Yeah. So from a hip hop perspective, a lot of common too. Mm -hmm. Being from the city, a lot of do or die. Um, Jay-Z, Wu-Tang, heavy Wu-Tang. Mm -hmm. And then eventually like Lil Wayne and stuff like that. But outside of rap, definitely a lot of like R&B, a lot of punk rock shit. Um, like Velvet Underground, The Casualties, um, Sex Pistols, shit like that. Like anything that had that same hip hop energy. And then maybe like a little bit of blue shit and shit like that. I was big on like early Ray Charles and shit like that when I was a kid. Yeah. So I had, I had the benefit of old parents. My parents both mad old. My mother, rest in peace, she was 40 when I was born. My dad was 39 when I was born. Oh God, similar situation. Same but thing. Opposite. And I heard like, you know, all those soul classics, soft rock, you know, yep. early stuff. And then my brother was into like punk, heavy metal, hardcore shit. Yep. Who was giving you records or whatever? Same you thing, know? man. I had two older. I have. I have two older brothers, and one of them six years older than me, and then one of them is sixteen years older than me. And so between them, I was getting everything. One of them was like real big on Hove, Jay, and stuff like that, like all Rockefeller, and the other one was real big on like underground hip hop and Wu Tang and stuff like that. So they were the two that really gave me a lot of the musical game. You know what I mean? Yeah. What are some hidden things in Chicago other than food? that you think we should be thinking about going to? Probably go to Soul House and kick it on like a Friday, Saturday night. That's always a vibe here. I'll say go, it's a little, it's right outside the city, but Fleetwood Roller Rink is like a fire roller rink that's like right outside the city. That's pretty low. A lot of people don't really know about it per se. A lot of the roller rinks in the city got torn down because roller rinks aren't a thing like that. So this is like one of the last standing old school roller I feel like rinks. roller skating has a big renaissance right now. I feel like that too. The rink is another place you can go to, but it's like, a, it's, I don't know, it's, it's not an unsafe place 
place, but everybody don't want to just pull up to the rink. If it's the summertime, I would say just go downtown, see the river walk, see like the whole new downtown vibe. Chicago has a historic downtown, but we also got some whole new shit going on downtown too that like people not really in tune with, you know? Joey Perp is a amazing name for someone in the music business. How'd you get it? Man, it, I guess it came in different ways. Like I, my favorite color's always been purple. Okay. And so that was always a thing. And then there's always like the weed thing. When I was little, I, when I was young, I smoked a lot of weed and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And then with purple and like purple being a color that represented royalty, mm -hmm. I always kind of referred to myself as that. Like perp, Joey Purple was like a thing. Mm -hmm. And then um, it kind of just stuck. People started calling me that and then it kind of just over the years became my moniker, like Perk. People be like, oh, where you at? Oh, I'm with Perk. Who you with, Perk? And then, yeah, it just stuck. I couldn't just be named Perk as a rapper. My name was Joey, so I was like, Joey Perk. Yeah, it works. We're at JP Graziano's, and these guys have been around for 85 years for a reason because of the process. When you're in the studio or you're in your lab, what's your process like? Like, how can you compare it to, to let's say, making a, a dish or, or, or making a sandwich, let's say? Yeah, man, I think it's kind of similar, I guess, like, you know, you have these ingredients in the same way that you have, like, you know, the beat, you have the vocalist, you have the production, you have the idea, the topic or whatever, you have all these energies that are coming together. But for me personally, it's like, I kind of like to treat the studio like a kitchen in the sense that I work there. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I don't try to like take my work home. Sometimes I do find myself writing in other places, but I can't, I don't record at home. I like to really like go to the studio, lock in in the studio. So sometimes I have things written already. Sometimes I just go there and cook up the idea 100% there. But for me, like music also is like um, more of a reflection of outside spaces. Like I get inspiration from my music everywhere but the studio and then bring it in, you know what right. I mean? I'm a sneaker um, like connoisseur, and I've never seen these before. I'm a little, uh, I'm a, I feel a little nervous. I feel a certain type of way. <laughs> what, who makes these uh, New Balance 550s? So these are Joe Fresh Good, part of Joe Fresh Good's collection that he's uh, dropping and just dropped part of with New Balance. It's uh, called Conversation Amongst Us. Conversations Amongst Us. So yeah, man. Beautiful. Chicago shit, you know, hometown stuff. All right, so the best part of the show. Sarski. We got the custom made Joey here. Yes, sir. Uh, what's in the sandwich? So you know, you got the you got the artichoke going on, you got the lettuce, tomato going on, you know what I'm saying? Roasted peppers, I think. Roasted peppers going on. If you want to, you could throw a little jardinier on that thing too, yeah, depending on how spicy you feeling, you know what I'm saying? And the lettuce, I like that uh, Jim does the lettuce here. It's already dressed and, uh, and coated up all perfect before you, gotta, you eat it. You got to get it to stick together, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, exactly. I'm going to throw a little chuff on mine. I don't know if you want to do yours a little bit. I think I'm feeling the same way, broski. Mm. All right, cheers. Cheers, brother. <laughs> cheers. Very good. That sauce a hit. It's good, right? This shit is a hit.